Welcome. Welcome to day one. She's so strong. Day 23. And day 50. An epic two program. Wow. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? And welcome or welcome back to my channel. I go by Curly Heron. And this is a channel that I created for myself to hold myself accountable while I try to embark on a fitness and fat loss adventure or a weight loss journey, whatever you want to call it. But if you've been following along, you know that I lost 50 pounds and I just finished Caroline Garan's Epic 2 program, her 10 week challenge. So that's what this video is going to be about, my review on that program, if I recommend it, any tips, tricks, or general things to know about it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to follow along as I continue to challenge myself and reach my goals. And let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of Caroline's epic programs or if you've dabbled in any of her individual YouTube workouts. She's got many, many, many free resources. So I invite you to go check that out on her YouTube page. I'll link it below. But yeah, let's get started. I have a lot to say about this program. Okay, I just want to give you guys a little bit of background on myself so you know that I'm not some elite athlete, not that I probably come across as such, but just to say who I am, what my background experience is, is with movement and exercise. So prior to starting this program, I really hadn't been doing much in the way of exercise besides indoor cycling. I have a little Peloton hack set up in my exercise room, so, and walking, like long walks, but um, yeah, nothing with calisthenics or lifting or resistance bands or anything like that so you pretty much can go from couch into it okay so that's just my background on where I came from before starting this program couldn't do a push-up truly was doing um, knee push-ups okay so there's still push-ups but I wasn't doing full body push-ups um, I was started with 10 pound dumbbells super challenging <laughs> so I've eventually worked my way up to 15s so came from a place of knowing how to move my body, but not actually moving my body. So let's put it that way, all right? Sedentary lifestyle within a reason, some cycling occasionally, all right? So this program was created by Caroline Gervon. Gervon, I don't know how to say it. I apologize for that in advance. I've been saying it both ways for the past 10, 12 weeks. So sorry, but I'm saying Gervon. So straight off Google, who is Caroline Gervon? So she is a mother, a personal trainer, background in running, ultra runs also. Iron Man Triathlon, she's fit, and her YouTube channel is only four months old. This was in 2020. So yeah, it's since grown, boomed, big time. She's from Northern Ireland, I know that. She has the cutest accent. Um, I don't really know much else about her. I did watch her Q&A videos. A lot of what she shows on the internet tends to be health and fitness, I guess. But yeah, I didn't really dive deep because that's not my place, it's her life, it's her world. I'm just gonna take the resources that she offers to us and use them how she is giving them, <laughs> right? Okay, so what is the Epic 2 program? I'm gonna link it below and I'm probably gonna put a little like scrolly thing here so you guys can follow along a little bit, but she explains in full detail what the program is for, who it's for, nutrition facts, the schedule, anything you wanna know about it. There's all sorts of Q and A's on there, so I'm just gonna give a little brief background. Um, it's designed for anybody, so according to her beginner, intermediate, advanced, typically, the workouts are about 50 minutes to an hour. There's usually a shorter hit workout on Sundays that's like 35 minutes maybe. Five days a week you're exercising with an active rest day also and a full rest day. So the whole program is 10 weeks long. It involves everything. You're lifting weights, you're using your body weight, you're doing a lot of high intensity movements, a lot of low stay state movements. Um, her program it's all encompassing. I can't think of one thing that she doesn't include on it. Mind you, I'm not an expert and I know all of the works in the world of fitness, but yeah, she, she does everything. Anything that you think you're gonna encounter, you probably will encounter. Um, yeah, like if you don't like burpees, get ready for burpees. If you don't like lunges, get ready for lunges. It's an encouraging program because I genuinely think your progress is shown. You will progress. I started not doing, not being able to do full body push ups. I can now do, I don't know how many. I tried to do like 20 push ups the other day. I can get like 15 push ups. It's my depth I'm working on now. So I can do many push ups, not at full capacity, but now I'm working on really getting deep. And I'm this 
close to being able to do a pull-up, which pull-ups are not in our program, but it was my own personal goal to complete a pull-up this year. And it's only been two months since I started trying and we're nearly there, like smidges away from being able to do a pull-up, which will be so rewarding, so rewarding. Okay, what equipment do you need to start this program if you're feeling like you don't have anything to do it? Dumbbells and yoga mat are the real mean things that you want before embarking on this program. If you can get your hands on a yoga block, um, a chair, which, I mean, come on, <laughs> you live in a house, maybe, hopefully you have a chair, and a resistance band. That would be beneficial as well at some points in the program. Okay, so how her videos are structured is she'll give a brief little rundown of the program and then she'll jump right into it. And I'm pretty sure all of her programs are structured via, like through time. So she'll have you work 45 seconds on a movement and then rest for 20 or 30 or what have you, and then jump right back into another 45 second time and then rest, so on and so forth. So it's not really rep based, it's more time based, but she is fully encouraging you versus you. So if you are not, if you're competing with Caroline, I don't, you must be, elite athlete because I cannot keep up with that lady. She's crushing every 45 seconds. She's like max repping. She does rest occasionally, which it's really nice to see that she's human, but she's going all out, right? So sometimes I can only do like 15 seconds worth of the 45 window even, and that's okay. Just try harder the next time. Sometimes I'll know that the exercise is super challenging for me. So I'll be like, okay, just try to get 12 or 15 reps and then move on from there. So you're structure it a little bit how you want within that window, but she's just giving you the platform and the exercise and the movement and um, she doesn't speak during the program at all. So that's something that I really enjoy. I really didn't know I enjoyed it until I tried it actually. She will have like beeps at the end to know when you're done. So I just keep it set up with the volume pretty high so you can hear pretty well when she's wanting you to wrap, wrap the work up, bleh, wrap the workout up. She'll do a little cool down at the end of it. And if you go onto her channel, you can do a quick little warm up. They're like eight minutes long. So sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't, but I do always make sure to stretch out afterwards. And I encourage you to do the same. It will help you in the long run with your recovery and your range of motion for sure. This program is a challenge. I would say it's difficult. Oftentimes I walked out of a day and kind of based my uh, success on how much of the exercise I thought I was able to complete. Like for example, if I was on Caroline's level 100% will be finishing everything that she asked, doing exactly how she did it. I would say on my best days, I got like 90, 95% and feel, felt proud, felt accomplished, felt like I got all I could out of that workout. And there were some days where I only got like 60% out of it. And honestly, in those days, I got what I needed out of it. Maybe could have done more, but kept pressing play. I didn't punish myself was gentle on myself, it's okay. I didn't let it discourage me from not trying again. So Caroline says this program is for everybody and everybody has different days and that happens. So difficult, yes. I would say this program is for anybody who is looking to challenge themselves. If you have any injuries, I would check with your doctor and move forward from there. But she claims that it's for beginner, intermediate, advanced. Yeah, it's for anybody who's looking to challenge themselves. That's the simple answer. <laughs> okay, my results. I am so much stronger now since 10 weeks ago. I I know I keep saying the push-up thing, but that is huge for me. Um, I can do push-ups now. I have a lot more stamina, a lot more flexibility, a lot more trust in my body. I started with 10-pound dumbbells and now I'm up to 15-pound dumbbells. I cannot do 15 pound dumbbells the entire time that she's asking. So I'll usually start with 15, switch to 10 when I need, and that's okay. So I would say I'm so much stronger. I've I've lost like seven pounds, I think it was, but I have been actively counting my calories and tracking the foods I eat. So I contribute diet to that as well. I did take measurements. I did not compare them to my end result measurements, so I'll probably do that. Um, I think my pictures speak for themselves. My um, core is clearly different looking. Um, I think the rest of my body is pretty much the same looking. Yeah, just feeling in my body that I'm almost able to do a freaking pull up, like the results speak for themselves. I'm happy, I feel accomplished, I feel proud, 
I feel like I'm gonna do another one of her programs at some point in my life. I really recommend trying it. Um, this community of people who are getting into her workouts is also really cool and really fun. It's really fun hearing other people's experiences. It seems like it's a challenge for everyone, so you can do it, but you'll sweat. <laughs> okay, my final thoughts on the Epic 2 program by Caroline Grimond are to do it. I never undertook such a long program. I tried P90X back in the day. I don't know how long that was of a program. I feel like it was like a long time also, like months and months and months. 90 days. But I wasn't in the right headspace to take something like that on and it seemed very daunting how much time you have to put into it and I know that 10 weeks is a long time. Like. I started my program in on Valentine's Day and finished it April 23rd. That's a long time. So my final thoughts are take it one day at a time. Take it one week at a time. Break your 10 week program into one weeks at a time and then take that week and break it down into one day at a time and just move from there. Don't think of the big picture and how big of an uphill battle it is because it really is. It's a big commitment. It's a big accomplishment when you get to the top. but. In order to take steps forward, I recommend taking smaller steps and analyzing that in a way that's more compactable and manage manageable for you. So for me, that meant writing down the month and writing down every week and writing down every day what I was gonna get into. So I knew every morning when I pressed play, what was gonna happen, but didn't worry about the next day. Um, I recommend going for it. The mental clarity alone that I've gotten to is out of, worth it, totally worth it. I'm not saying that's gonna happen for everybody, but for me, something along the line clicked where I was just knowing that I was doing this and I was gonna finish it. So just feeling that feeling, I, don't, I can't even put into words what that is. Um, confidence, I guess, <laughs> like I had confidence in myself to complete a program and it's not only that, I feel more confident in my own skin. I'm like wearing crop tops now and cutting all my shirts in half and feeling like my um, stomach feels and looks a lot better. So I'm happy with all that. Um, my final thoughts are I'm very thankful for this woman for releasing this free program and continuing to do so and being educational on it and being just, yeah, very, she's fun. She's fun to work with. Not that she's working with me, but I feel like I'm working with her. <laughs> So yeah, I recommend you try it and you might surprise yourself, you know. I think that the biggest problem for most people is that it's 10 weeks and then you think that and then you like start day one, you're like, what the heck did I get into? You just keep showing up for yourself. I promise it'll be worth it. <laughs> okay guys, that's pretty much all I had to say about this program. I really encourage you to go look at her program guide that she has as a downloadable PDF on linked on all of our videos. I'll link it below as well. It gives a lot more detail and I'm probably forgetting some things or missing some things or did not answer the questions that you had regarding this program and your curiosity towards it. So go check that out and yeah if you want to watch this guy pop into all of my videos and all my cats come see me Every time I'm on the floor doing a crunch or something, they'll like come crawl on me. Go check out my other videos. I recorded one video every week during the past 10 weeks doing this Epic 2 program. So yeah, go check those out and subscribe because I have more content coming in regards to my fitness well-being. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit insightful towards this program if you're curious about it. And I really encourage you to do something that you love and you like and just Keep moving your body and stay healthy, check in with yourself, drink your water, get your sunlight, and have an overall awesome day. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. You did it. What did you think of the Epic 2 program? Yeah? Did you go a little boo boo?